everyone, welcome back to Absolutely. My name is Benny, that is Sal, and we're a channel that gets together and talks about the latest news going on in the world of superheroes, be it Marvel, DC, or just random other superhero-related properties. And today, we're going to be talking about more HBO slash WB slash Discovery mishaps. Or yes. errors, or who knows what they're doing anymore. Stock no one does. tankings, that's what they're doing. Yeah, so... We're going to talk about that today, but if you want to be a part of the family, please consider joining our YouTube membership starting in September. We're going to be bringing some exclusive discussions and shows to that YouTube membership project, and would love for you to be a part of it. And also, check out our sponsor, G Fuel. I got, I got a tub down here now. G Fuel! Use the code COMICS at checkout. Get the energy that I'm bringing to you today. I am fighting through something. I don't know. Something's going on up here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sal. Uh, so I love this because we're going to use the exact same headline, and I'm going to. I'm sorry, I am sorry if you thought it was bigger than that, but everyone's going Batman canceled. That's all they're saying. No one is yes. explaining it. No, no one is saying Batman cartoon canceled. No one is saying Batman cartoon not canceled, but moving off of HBO. They're all using the headline Batman canceled. Yeah, okay. gotta get them clicks. I've I've clicked it like three times for getting their stuff going on. You know what I mean, like that. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. And it's all the same information. It's all the same. So here's what it is. Uh, Batman Caped Crusader, which was a sequel slash not sequel, like a spiritual successor. Is that what it, it was? Is? A, it was a spiritual reimagining of the animated series. Like, I think the idea is it's uh, if, if you ever looked up like um, there's like an anniversary video that Bruce Tim directed that was like set in the 30s and it's like black and white and stuff, or at least it's sepia toned. Um, it's something like that where it's like, a grittier, more grounded, slash fantastical animated series where Batman is alone and there's no other universe. There's no other heroes. It's, there's no continuity. It's just that that universe. It's it's so own kind thing. of an updated animated series before it sprawled all over the place and yes. Bruce Tim is back in charge. Absolutely, that's okay. right. Well, it was going as an exclusive to HBO Max, but. So Batman and a few others, which include The Day the Earth Blew Up, a Looney Tunes movie, Bye Bye Bunny, a Looney Tunes musical, yeah. Did I Do That to the Holidays, a Steve Urkel story, and The Amazing World of Gumball, the movie, have all been canceled. Yes. Yes. But the interesting part is, apparently Batman and the Steve Urkel project are so far along, they're just not going to show up on HBO. They're going to go elsewhere. Right. I can't believe there's an HBO, there's a Steve Urkel anything. Like, I found out about it from these announcements, that yeah. there was going to make a Steve Urkel anything amazing. Right. But yeah, no, uh, this is the kind of question people had before, where it was like, couldn't they shop it elsewhere? Couldn't they sell it to another format? And unlike the Batgirl movie which is a tax write-off, like, no one can have that because you have to take it as a total loss. These were things they were just like, we're not investing money in it right. anymore. And I guess it's, it's a pseudo write-off if they don't use it themselves, but it's sold kind of a situation. Which yeah, I, I think it's just I saw the loss. funniest part about this, though. That means that Hulu could potentially buy the Batman Caped Crusader animated series. And yeah. then when Hulu is absorbed by Disney Plus in yes. two, three years when that contract expires... That would mean there's a Batman show on Disney. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> what you, that's right. Which like, how I mean, how messed up right. can the management over at HBO be that they're like, we have a completed Batman cartoon show. Look, okay, everyone wants Batgirl. I want to see Batgirl, but I'll at least stick with the argument of they're trying to fix the continuity, and this is just going to make it worse. Like, it's, let, let's just say for the sake of argument, it's too confusing, and maybe even it's terrible. Like, yeah. you know, they're... For the sake so, of argument, I'm going to say if your goal is to fix the DCEU, having a Batgirl movie set in its own timeline with Michael Keaton is probably not going to help that. No. So you get a free tax write-off. But then to also have a cartoon that would be linked to nothing? Right. That you're just like, well, it's done, but we're not going to put that on HBO Max. No. And it also is, uh, I think it's like Matt Reeves is working on it too. Like It's yeah. people that you want in your sphere you know, to be happy. Yeah. And... You're like, oh, yeah, no, that's canceled, this is canceled, that's canceled. I mean, like, I get canceling a lot of the CW shows and the Titans show. Just really expensive stuff that is made to be originally magnet programming for their respective networks. CW yeah. doesn't make a profit, screw it, might as well just kill it off. HBO Max, they don't regard it 
I heard that they're actually taking unscripted garbage shows from Disney or from Discovery Plus and dumping them onto HBO Max. That like other shows, like because HBO Max is a scripted show, it, it, it is a curated Disney Plus competitor. It is made to have movies and shows. And Discovery Plus is like, let me just dump a whole bunch of like naked and afraids onto this yeah. new thing, which by the way goes against the whole this is for this and this is for that mantra that they've been touting about right. what Discovery Plus and HBO Max are and how they're different and what they what they cater to. Like you're you're cross pollinating. But you're also eliminating stuff from this one play. Like, this, HBO Max is made for this. And you're getting rid of them. I, I, I don't get it. I mean, like, I get it. But I also don't get it in terms of, I think that you're, the money was spent, man. The show yeah, was well, done. That's what I don't understand. Why wouldn't, like, it's, it, uh, I'm looking at this tweet from Boris Kilt. Batman the Cake Crusader anime series. The show is not canceled per sources, just not going to HBO Max. Right. Deep in production, nothing is paused. Yeah, that's kind of amazing that what? like they, they got to keep going. Because who's paying for it? And apparently the show has Kevin Conroy, Mark Hamill. Wait, is it really got all of them back? As as many as the... Ba- no, well, this that- article saying this is what they loved about the original. Yeah. yeah okay. Oh, okay. Because I wouldn't a- be surprised in the least if Kevin Conroy came back to play Batman Kevin in Kevin Conroy, show. yeah, but I thought Mark Hamill officially said, I'm done with the Joker. Like, I'm not doing yeah, that. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I don't buy that for a second. Yeah, we don't know who's in it. We we haven't seen like a frame. Everyone uses the same promotional image that they had from that fan dome announcement. Like, yeah, that's like, all we have. I didn't even have. know it was like wh- that. It was still moving forward. Honestly, yeah, I thought that it had. I thought that it was still in production. Like that it was still being developed, and that it wasn't nearly as developed. And it could be. I mean, it could be that the show isn't nearly as done as we seem to think it is, and that it's just because it's Batman, we're gonna finish it. Like, because someone will buy it. And the reality well, yeah. is, that's true. Like, someone should buy it, you know? Dude, I because, almost feel like Hulu should get it just as a joke. Just as a joke. Yeah, just in a lark. Like, how much could it possibly cost yeah. to make this show? Especially since Hulu has other Warner Brothers projects that absolutely should have been on HBO Max. Like Animaniacs. Oh, yeah. No, well, I was going to say, like, the other stuff, at least, you wouldn't re- you wouldn't recognize it as... Like, everyone knows Batman should be with Warner Brothers and HBO. Yeah. Like, going to Hulu would be weird. Yeah. But at least, like, the Looney Tunes, Urkel, Gumball. Yeah, we'd all, like, if you knew the inner workings, you'd be like, okay, no, those are supposed to be on the other side. But right. you wouldn't question them being on Hulu. No, no. Gumball especially, where it's like, I don't even know what channel that's on. <laughs> I thought it was Cartoon it, Network. It is Cartoon Network. Okay. But, like, that's a, that's a movie where the, the Amazing World of Gumball as a movie, that could go anywhere. Like, Netflix could have it, and it wouldn't be a problem at all. The people would just go, oh, sweet, and then they'd put it on and watch it while high or in front of their children. But, like, right. that's it. With Batman, and that's the thing, right? Like, Warner Brothers, HBO, Discovery, like, they need to start really caring about their brands. And maybe they don't, and that's actually better because I like more collaboration between studios and whatnot. But, like, Batman is your Mickey Mouse, like, you know, Bugs Bunny is your Mickey Mouse, but, like, Batman is the biggest, most iconic, most recognizable superhero slash fictional character in American history, and you just, just, buy, just, how how much more could the Batman cartoon have cost versus, I, you know like, I, Titans I want to or- argue with that, I want to argue with that, but this is also the company that stupidly put it out in the public, hey, we can only release two more movies this year because we're out of cash. <laughs> Why would you? S- I mean, like, I get, I get b- getting in front of it, but like, no, you let that stuff leak, and then you just deny it as much yeah. as you can. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't. Yeah, I, we I can only I, afford to release two movies. That, which is funny. Why that would released- you say it? Just be like, hey, we're pushing back the other DC movies. We're still fixing all this. We're still we're working on them. We're, be- yeah, we're developing our narrative. You know, I mean, I remember, I was surprised by people's reception of the announcement at San Diego where it was like, here is Black Adam and Shazam 2. And people were like, just the two? And I'm like, I mean, yeah, they don't they don't have much in development. Like Aquaman is, I guess, being worked on, but like maybe not enough for uh for for a trailer. And then it was yeah. like, we we can only afford to make the two. And I'm like, oh <laughs> that makes sense to me now. Uh, that, that but that bat like the thing is, the Batman cartoon can't possibly cost more than losing a ninety million dollar Batgirl movie or canceling you know or, or reshooting the flash 
or you know, or, or canceling literally every HBO Max original program. Like, uh, so I mean, like how, how we know they're crazy in debt, but right. uh, that is like every big company in the world. They're all yeah. crazy in debt. Is there somebody at HBO's doors like, hey, pay up time, pay up. We're right, going like, to David Laszlo, you bought this. We're breaking the kneecaps unless you fix it. Seriously, like what, it was like you owe us for the servers. Like, you know, you owe us rent for the server space. And it's like, if you don't pay up, we're just going to delete everything on your server. Like, I don't know. Yeah. It's a shakedown, I, I guess. It's really weird. It's weird. And it's a Wild West situation where it's like, it's every time we get more information about the HBO Max Warner Brothers Discovery situation, it's always unprecedented. Like, it, we, we live in the, like, unfortunately, like, some of the most interesting times in the entertainment world where it's like, oh, look, another thing has occurred. Oh, do we have a basis for comparison? Do we have something to, to compare that to? Or, or any kind of, like, ground or roadmap to, to navigate ourselves out of it? Absolutely not. Yeah. It's I, brand new. I, We've never I, seen anything like this before. It's so weird. It's well, so weird. And I get what, it. Like, on the same token, like, I remember when DC Universe came out. Like, when we were uh, sent out there to talk about DC Universe, and they were like, we div- that that app, the DC Universe app, which would eventually basically become HBO Max, even though apparently they were two separate apps. Like, DC Universe was developed, and HBO Max were developed irrespective of each other. And the, for the record, for those who don't know, DC has always been owned by Warner Brothers. Yeah, they all got shuffled to AT and T and stuff, but Warner Brothers always owned DC. So yeah. this isn't—they didn't well, just since, get DC and go, "Oh shit!" You know, yeah. Like, what are we going to do with this? It wasn't like, uh, you know, yeah, no. Well, at least since the early '80s, I think late '70s, I don't remember, but like it was the—it was either the early eight, yeah, let's say the early '80s is when Warner Brothers acquired DC. But either way, it's been as at least if you're watching this show right now, your lifetime. One of yeah. those is own DC. This is not like new. Um, they should know how to handle this, but uh, but it costs billions to develop a streaming app, like to make a Disney Plus, to make an HBO Max. Yeah. And if you didn't have, I mean, th- what we're seeing right now, I guess, is the result of like the fallout from the streaming wars, where it's like, yeah, we're, we just need to be the last remaining streaming service because you're watching but Disney's Netflix winning. And- no, they're losing big time. Like no, I thought Disney was winning. No, oh, I don't. I don't know who has the most, like the winningest streaming service. But I will say Disney's acting like they're winning since they have now rolled out with like a like basically doubling their price. Yeah, like you don't increase your price if you think you're losing. Now, what? Now, I would see also HBO Max increasing their price because they desperately need the money back. But like, I don't know it. We're, we are we are witnessing a, a seismic shift in the streaming wars situation where, honestly, like, Discovery Plus is a thing where I was like, why did you even bother? And se- clearly, HBO, or Warner Brothers Discovery, favors it more. Because right. what we're not getting is a whole bunch of announcements of, like, Food Network shows getting canceled. And- Dude, I didn't even think about that. You're 100% right. Like, they're not canceling any of the 90 Day Fiance stuff. Right. Or- <laughs> yeah, we're not losing Honey Boo Boo stuff. Like, it's just the scripted you know what, content. You know, what, you know what it probably is? Yeah. The cost to make it. Well, and that's the thing. Because, like, uh, we were talking about this on, on our channel. Uh, a friend of mine mentioned, you know, if you compare Doom Patrol to Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. Yeah. it co- Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives costs... A, a crew, a, f- a fraction, a right? Yeah. Like a tenth of the, a, a one hundredth of a cost. You probably have like a ten man crew, the use of the car, and Guy Fieri's fee. Exactly, but they both make the same amount of money. Like, yeah, that's the issue. So that's- it's like I'm investing a hundred thousand dollars or eight million dollars an episode to make the exact same amount because also we're in a world where we're not actually making any money. Like, we're not yeah. releasing, you know, these shows on HBO Max to the tune of ad revenue or, like, you know, it's just subscriptions. And there are only so many human beings in the world and there are only so many people who can afford it. And there are only so many people who are aware of it. So it's like, what's the breakdown there? You know, like, how do you yeah. know that, like, a show that I invested $50 million into is going to equate to $50 million worth of subscription. Like it, it, it simply, not only is that impossible to equate, but it's also impossible to make happen. I can't mm-hmm. possibly make $90 million. Like, that's why Batgirl got canceled. I can't make $90 million or $100 million worth of revenue off of a, of a movie that's put on an app. It, it's just not possible. No, it, 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 
you, I don't know, because like, because like, oh yeah, well, you might get that over the course of the year, but the other movies that they made specifically for the app and the shows are making right. specifically for the app, because they're not doing ads. Like that's how we make money on YouTube. That's how yeah. a lot of it. Like I know we don't like ads. I don't like ads, but that's no. how money is made out there. You know? Yeah, that's right. That's right. And that's why Disney is like, we're gonna add ads. Like Disney yeah. Plus is getting an ad section. And well, they, I don't. And, it makes sense that you can do Disney Plus for free with ads, or you just can pay for it. I mean, that's what YouTube does now. I don't think the Disney Plus will be free with ads, is it? Like, I assume they're like, no, it'll be the old fee with ads, and the oh, new I can fee see, with I can no see them ads. doing that. I can see them because that's doing. Disney to a T. I mean, yeah. Disney. I mean, what was it? This is a very much a tangent, but the concept of like, I, I, I we had heard after the after like the the lockdowns that Disney was like, we're like interest Disney as a park, like the theme park situation. They're like. We're more interested in edging out any of like the like less wealthy park patrons and really turn it into like a like like a higher echelon experience where only rich people can go to Disney World. <laughs> like you're okay. Let's yeah. see how that works out for you. I mean, I was seeing some, and then they made like the blackout dates and everything are crazy. Right? Like they're just starting to edge out. You have like, to pay just, a ton of money to go to Disney, or yeah. You go on that tourist fee. I went over there to Disneyland like three months ago, and that was yeah. just a shit show. I don't I'll bet. It no, was the lines terrible. are insane, and like the yeah. you know the, the I've availability. I've never been a fan of conventions or theme parks on that level. Yeah, because I've never understood. Here's like two hundred dollars of my money, right? And now I'm going to go stand in three three hour lines. <laughs> yeah, like that. I, I, the way I look at it, maybe I'm like just an old person, but like if I spend two to three hundred dollars, I feel like the 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 built in cost of that fee should be the convenience of having access to it. Like it yeah. would be it would be like if I spent you know like twenty five dollars or what was it like sixty bucks to watch Mulan uh, same day and date on Disney Plus, and they were like you have to still wait the equivalent of being in line at the <laughs> ticket booth to watch the movie. Like there's gonna be a twenty five minute long buffer zone between paying the fee and then accessing the movie like no the the cost is factored into the convenience or the convenience is factored right. into the cost i shouldn't have to overpay to get to, to wait like pay to wait pass yeah. but uh but no, yeah, that's, what I've, that's why when i only started going to disney it was only when way back at the beginning of this youtube journey maker studios who was owned by disney would just give us skips to get through everything like, oh, totally. instantly yeah, all the time i ever was... went to disneyland finally and then i did that like three times and then was like now i'm bored <laughs> yeah well I've, I've done it but yeah. uh in, in the I in terms spit of in a teacup so many times <laughs> no, that's fair but in the in terms of the streaming th situation like uh, whatever the you can i think that we live in a world where like we're watching hbo max learn in real time we're watching discovery warner brothers like handle failure on a large scale that they could have easily avoided by not breaking into the streaming services like all they had to do was just cut sweet fat deals with netflix or hulu or anybody right and then just farm out their content and just let let the money come in but no you when you want to be in charge you better be prepared for some big fails or some big wins. But, like, I don't think anybody was expecting HBO Max to be the number one streaming service. Right. Like, they, they are, they are the, t it's them or Disney at the moment, isn't it? It is, yeah. No, HBO Max did very well for themselves. Like, it, it became a very high yielding streaming service. But with the, with, with the volatility of the ownership of Warner Brothers and the, uh, the ever expanding, exclusivity of like marvel star wars disney plus content and netflix being just like the original and a powerhouse that has like right. really good magnet programming I don't, I don't think there's i don't think there's room for more than two and yeah yeah <laughs> this, i mean right now it's listed as the best second best being hulu and third best being netflix and then wow disney plus. really like Disney Plus is fourth? I mean, I don't know how accurate these lists are. They're all made by, like, no one's getting... And these are the numbers, but right. that's what they're... No, that's fair. Well, that's the thing, is that, like, they, they love this new w uncertain world because they don't have to share. Like, there's no Nielsen ratings. We, we don't know how many subscribers all these groups have. We don't know how much money they make off of these things because it's all internal. That's all yeah. theirs. It's why, like, they were, like, happy to release Black Widow on Disney Plus because they're like... Yeah, I could share. I could make what, like a like a third of the of the revenue at the uh, theater, or I could take it all. Yeah, that's exactly it. So yeah, it, it, it's 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 funny, but it's not confusing or con it's not like I don't I, I don't not understand it. I get like when you watch um when you watch your favorite YouTuber like 
and they've been around for a couple of years. They have failed a million times to get to the place that you like or that you're enjoying that's really polished. But if you yeah. go back through their archives, you can watch them fail in real time. There is no other entertainment equivalent to that where it's like, no. except for like except maybe HBO a late, Max. HBO Max <laughs> or, or like a late night talk show host, like watching them yeah. just get better over time. But like HBO Max is one of those things where it's like we're watching like the evolution of streaming content distribution and seeing it like like screw up you know yeah. <laughs> and and they don't know how, and, and watching it try to gain its foothold back in i don't know what the solution is to making hbo max slash warner brothers profitable again but uh well, i mean that's why we're not the guys getting paid 200 million dollars to just do our job maybe they can all cut their salaries a little bit and then we can uh you know <laughs> oh that's that's out of i'm afraid that's out of the question no no no, no. we gotta come up with some other <laughs> what if i what if i laid off 70 percent of the uh of the staff at hbo max what if that what, we, can we, oh can no we... that'll work too yeah that'll be great uh, all and, right uh, there we go i'll see you in the bahamas this year <laughs> oh definitely well yeah i'm not gonna give up my spot <laughs> that, that's where we are i mean <laughs> this is my spot in the illuminati of lizard men cell i need I, ca I can't lose my money that's right. I need my hot rock to sunbathe my warm body. Like, <laughs> we're getting weird with this. All right, yeah, let's yeah. wrap this one up. That's yeah. so overall. Do you, where do you think Batman's gonna go? You know, I think that I, I, I think that Netflix is gonna get Batman. Oh no, the 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 best case scenario. I think because the options are I uh, or Apple, Amazon, or Netflix. Really, right. I mean, like. Hulu I, could I get see it. That, uh, Hulu would have to pay a ton to get it. I think. I think they would, and they'd have. To, I think that the only way that Hulu would get it is if they overpaid, which they're not in the, in the business of doing. That's a no. that's an HBO Max decision. But, that's a um, Netflix thing. That's a Netflix <laughs> thing. So like, I think Amazon might get it because Amazon is the leader in like superhero animation in streaming. That's true. I can see that. So that would be like, that, and that would be such a feather in their cap. Can you imagine? Like, we've got the Batman show, and the next season of Invincible's coming, and the boys crossover or uh, spinoffs, and all yeah. those, like that's such a that's such a boon for them. That would be the way to go. So I think Amazon and Amazon has the deep enough pockets to afford an entire show, especially because for them they're like, we didn't even make that show. Like we didn't even have to animate it. Like we yeah, just had to buy done. it and put it out. Like, hell, that might be, like, a good, sweet deal for them where they're like, no, we'll just pay Warner Brothers to keep making Batman shows. <laughs> like, look, you got any other Batman shows you don't want to make? <laughs> we'll, we'll take it. Why about you? Dude, that would be hilarious. Like, all Harley Quinn goes over there. Oh, my God. So <laughs> Such, that, that's not a bad idea, by the way. What do you, uh, who do you think is going to get it? I, you know what? I was leaning towards Netflix, but you're right. I think Amazon could go crazy for it because they don't seem to care about losses. They're just Thanks. like... They never talk about failures or wins. They're just like, and here's another project. Next. Yep. <laughs> right, exactly. It, 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 you know it failed when you never see it ever again. Like that, yeah. you know, like that Zombieland show. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, there was a Zombieland show? Oh, was there ever. You should look at it. It's the worst. Just watch the trailer and you'll go, oh, I see why this did not work out. Zombieland the series? What? Yeah. It's okay, well, thing. I'll look at that another time. But thank you guys for watching today's episode. If you want to see more conversations and more behind-the-scenes stuff, please check out our YouTube memberships. And don't forget to check out our sponsor, G Fuel. Thank you guys so much. We will see you next time. Right here. Sorry. We'll see you next time. Right here. Edit. Do that one, Dylan. <laughs>